Oh yeah, so, so good. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do my top 10 favorite fall fragrances. So for this list, I decided to do five kind of like designer average style scents, the full bottle, the 3.4 presentation, as well as my top five favorite from the clone houses, because I do think that the ones from the clone houses, although they are a little bit less well known, they are gonna be better 100% than these designer fragrances. And some of them just absolutely blow me away for fall. Let's jump into my only honorable mention, Jaguar Gold. Now this one's just a very solid middle of the road fragrance. A lot of fragrances do what this fragrance does. I think it's only about $14 and it smells so good. If I had to pick a time that it smells the best, then I would definitely pick fall. Got that sweet style vibe. Kind of reminds me of Perry Ellis M. Just a very general, almost like a, a cinnamon style fragrance. Really, really enjoyed this one. Great for $14. Jaguar Classic Gold, the only honorable mention on this list. I didn't really put these in order, so I'm just going to go over the top five designers and then the top five from the clone house. So let's start off with the designer. For me, I'm going to have to go with Mr. Smelly's new fragrance of Gravitas Pour Homme. Now, I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance, guys. Oh, it's just got a very classic fullness. I think it would smell good with a little bit of coolness, but it also has this mandarin orange on the top to make it not as thick and a little bit more well-rounded and for all season, things like that. Again, it's probably a little better for spring, but for a newer fragrance, something that I guess I really haven't smelled anything like this. It kind of smells similar to older fragrances, but this one has a likability that I just absolutely enjoy. It's best with a little bit of heat and a little bit of cool, which is kind of what we get in fall. I think it's about 115 for this bottle, and I think this is a, it's either a 3.4 or a four ounce. I think it's a 3.4 ounce, but very, very good nonetheless. Believe the hype on this one, I really, really really do enjoy this Gravitas Perome. All right, again, guys, these aren't in any order. Bentley's Momentum Intense. Now you could put um, CH Men Privé on here as well. CH Men Privé, I really enjoy that fragrance as well, but Bentley's from Intense. It smells really good. I mean, the quality is about the same, if not maybe a little bit better, and it comes in about $30 just. And I think more people have heard of Bentley versus CH Men, maybe not, but really, really, really enjoyed this fragrance, guys. If you can imagine somebody with a little bit of a darker side, but also a sexy side, this really, really just absolutely nails it. It gives you that CH Men vibe. I just absolutely enjoyed this one. Again, this one is for kind of like somebody with a darker side of their personality, not really just an openly Bentley's Momentum Intense, so solid, absolutely love this one. Azaro's Wanted by Night, I just think this is a such a solid fragrance, guys. The original Wanted DNA, it was something that kind of grew on me. When I smelled it up on paper and smelled it up on close, I just really couldn't get into it. But once I smelled the projection and it really opened up, I really started to enjoy Azaro's Wanted. And I feel like Azaro's Wanted by Night is even more likable than the original. It keeps a, um, a lot of what made the original unique, but at the same time, it's just a more nighttime version, a little bit more for the fall versus of the original Zara Wants. It was kind of more of like a fresh, almost like a springtime style scent. It reminded me a little bit of Invictus. And when I would smell the original Wanted, for some reason, I would just think it smelled so good in the morning. I don't know why. But anyways, Azaro's Wanted by Nights um, got that classic Azaro's Wanted smell with a little bit of spicy sweetness. So good and so likable. I really, really do enjoy this one. Very solid Azaro's Wanted by Night. I think it's about $40, $50. Two hours of projection or more on this one. This one's very, very solid. Azaro Wanted by Night. As I couldn't include a fall list without including a mention from Dolce & Gabbana's the one I'm gonna go with, the Royal Night version here. I gotta say, smelling some of the more high quality juices, Dolce & Gabbana's the one doesn't smell as smooth and as impressive as it once did, but I still think it smells very, very good, very likable. Oh yeah, so, so good. And this one is a little bit more masculine, a little bit more spicy. I tend to like those kind of fragrances, but it is overall so likable and sweet, just like the original. Basically, do you want the one to be a more masculine scent? I would check this one out, but if you're like, I, I, I like it the way it is, just go with the one EDP, one of the absolute best ones for fall. I've always liked this one. I'm going to continue to like this one. It's on top of people's list for a good reason. Dolce & Gabbana is the one royal nice this is another one that i think probably might be best in spring but it's one of those ones that kind of dances between being good for the cold weather and the warm weather and that one is our mauve's derby clubhouse gold now this one's kind of a play on the mont blanc legend intense which people have said that's a really good spring style scent the original fierce dna has varied so much throughout the years mont blanc legend and mont blanc legend intense is a little bit more of a full smell to me i like fierce the original fierce the older version 
difference almost in something like a little bit more of the high heat, maybe a little bit of fall and spring, but overall the high heat. With Mont Blanc Legend and Legend Intense, you kind of push them a little bit more towards the spring and for fall. And I just really, really like this one. It's kind of giving you guys also another budget option, a few ones that are expensive and a few ones that are very affordable. I just really, really like this one. It is pretty strong and you might want to have it open up, but very good projection, lasts a long time and it gets the compliments. Armov's Derby Clubhouse Gold, so, so solid. Really enjoyed this one. So let's jump into the bad boys, the ones that are truly, truly so impressive. And because these come from clone houses, they are pretty affordable too. So anyways, guys, let's start off with number one. I couldn't include pretty much any list without saying one of my favorite fragrances of all time, which is that Baccarat Rouge style DNA. Now I gotta be honest, there's been a few clone houses, one of them being Central Obsessions. I don't know if I'm missing another one, but Central Obsessions, King of Queens smells so, so good. I don't know if it's gonna be better than this because I have the most experience with Sacred, but I absolutely love Sacred. This is actually my second bottle of it. It's so my only time that I've gotten a second bottle of anything from Babylon Fragrances because it's so good. I sprayed it, loved it. This is copies the x straight which is a little bit more full than the original the original is a little bit more transparent so i definitely think this smells good almost at any time but because of the fullness it kind of think it smells better for fall like i said i've smelled a, a lot of really good copies of this one but i have the most experience with this one babylon fragrances sacred so so good one that absolutely blew me away and it would be tough for me not to put this as number one i'm almost feel like i might be slipping out of my love for background rouge 540 because of my new love for this one central obsessions three rivers the perfumes de marley carlisle clone now this comes from his exclusive line which is the most expensive line that he has but you can guarantee that you're going to get the best juice i think this is about 50 dollars 450 ml it's not the cheapest out there but when you compare it to other things it's really not that expensive and once you smell how luxurious this juice is you can really stretch that 50 mils out the original carlisle has insane longevity and projection and I would say this is pretty much the same thing every time I've sprayed this up it lasts and lasts and lasts I think I sprayed this up uh, went to the beach um, got in the water at least a little bit and I came back out I could still smell it on my hand I just absolutely love this one he he completely nails it with the, the exclusive lines you could tell that he's not pulling any punches and they're as good as they could possibly be I absolutely love um, perfumes to Marley Carlisle clone of three rivers takes that classic perfumes to Marley DNA a makes it a little bit more likable versus like Ojan was a little bit more gourmandy. Herod's a little dark. This one's just so, it takes all the elements and really makes into one. Love the Three Rivers. From the House of Dapper Fragrances, their clone of Parfums de Marley Leighton. Now I gotta say, I've tried Alexandria Fragrances version of Leighton. I thought that was very good. And Central Obsessions just came out with a fragrance in their private line, uh, which was similar to this, similar pricing and everything, called Royal Obsession. And I really really like that one as well but this was my favorite personally from dapper fragrances it's got very good projection and longevity something like royal obsession was a little bit more transparent this one's a little bit more full they're really good they're so good i can't it's hard for me to even pick but i had to give the nod to dapper fragrances because i've done two lists and I just really, really, really enjoy wearing this one. To me, I get almost all the elements very full, very in your face, but nothing rough or weird about it. So really, really, really enjoy Dapper Fragrance's copy of Parfums de Marley Leighton. Such a likable DNA. It's an entry from Happy Land Fragrances on this list and there. All right, guys, Happy Land Fragrances, Raya Light. Now this one is one of my absolute favorites from Happy Land Fragrance. I would say I probably prefer Paisley Sky just a hair more completely a fall dominant scent it's got that likable sweetness but not an overkill strength that you'd want for something like winter although you could wear it for winter this smells just so good so gourmandy um probably a little bit more gourmandy smelling than the other fragrances on this list but probably the most gourmandy fragrance that i'm mentioning in my top five clone house here for fall really really like this one guys when i looked up the notes it's just a mash of a bunch of things that smell good all gourmand one of my absolute favorites from happy land it's i've liked it since the second i smell it it's very likable i've had subscribers buy it and tell me that it's very good absolutely love this one happy land fragrances rye lights and the last one another one from central obsessions private line i've absolutely loved all of those and that is have a good night 
which is a MFK Grand Soir clone. Now, when I first tried Grand Soir, like last year, it was my favorite amber fragrance that I've ever smelled. I absolutely love Grand Soir. It kind of blew me away because it's kind of got this really likable smell, very similar to things that you smelled before, but just different to be make it almost smell better. You know, I really liked something like Parfums de Marly Ojean, and when I smelled Grand Soir, it just completely blew it away. Grand Soir is supposed to be, I think, an amber fragrance, and it is the most luxurious, best amber fragrance that I've ever smelled. And to be honest, I have a really, really tough time going between three rivers and have a good night. And when I was talking to the owner of Central Obsessions, I think he said have a good night is in one of his like top two or top three most worn, I believe. And for a good reason, these are so, so, so good. They project a long time. They're very likable, just as likable as they could be in something like a designer could completely be that good. Most of the time, some people say niches are a little bit more complex and things like that. I find that these are a little bit more complex and luxurious, but so so likable so different and smells so good and i absolutely love their have a good night grand soir so so good this has been my favorite fall fragrances you get five from the designer side and five from the clone house side all the ones on the clone house side i think if you were to order all these you would prefer the top five and the clone house a hundred percent but i understand for people who haven't bought from these off brands and they want something that's big and you could see it on amazon and you could see all these advertisements and you could see all these reviews and the brand name, all that kind of stuff. I gave you those options, but I gotta say, if you really want the best sense, I would look for the last half of this list, the last five, so, so, so good. But anyways, guys, let me know what you're rocking for fall. I'd be very interested to see down below. You know what I'm rocking, so. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. Hope you guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. Our mommy, our mom. <laughs>